Hi, my name is Bernie Bear, and this is Marsha. We have both volunteers here at Trout Lake Nature Center in Eustis. I've been volunteering here for a long time at Trout Lake, and I thought it would be great to share some facts with everyone about the plants, animals, and the environment, even if you can't come here. That sounds like a great idea. Can I help? Sure, Marsha. Let's start with some facts about Florida black bears. Lots of people might not know about black bears. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't think I even told you that I'm a Florida black bear. And I want everyone to know about me and why I'm such a cool animal. So that's why you asked me to bring all this stuff about black bears. All these things will help us to learn more about Florida black bears. Absolutely, Marsha. Thanks. I really needed your help to get all these items together. Like I said, I'm a Florida black bear. I love being a Florida black bear. First of all, I'm a mammal. Take a quick look at my fur. It is thick and a little wily feeling. Can anyone guess why I need such thick fur like this? It's because it makes good protection for the, my body from biting insects, thorny plants, and helps me hide. You know, camouflage. Your fur really helps you wander safely through all sorts of habitats. <laughs> yep, I do like to wander through forests, swamps, scrub, and meadows. I have to keep foraging through a variety of habitats to find enough food to fill me up. Do you know what I like to eat? No, I don't. What do Florida black bears eat? I eat just about anything, including berries, seeds, parts of plants, lots of bugs, and other types of meat. All these foods grow and live in a variety of habitats. That's why I need to wander from one place to another looking for enough food to fill me up. You know, Marsha, I do like these juicy insects I find in the logs. Yummy stuff. Great, Bernie. You can have all those juicy insects. I'll stick to a Big Mac. Did you know that by looking at my teeth, you can tell what I eat? Marsha, show them my skull. It's awesome, and they can see my teeth for themselves. Okay, here. This is a model of Bernie's skull. It shows his teeth, eye socket, ear socket, and general shape of his head. Look at these teeth. The canines are for tearing and ripping meat. The smoother, flatter molar teeth would be used for grinding plant matter. Studying an animal's teeth can help us understand what an animal eats, and since Bernie eats a variety of plants and meats, that makes him an omnivore, an animal that eats both plants and other animals. That's cool. What other things do you notice about my skull? I did notice the area around your nose, Bernie. My, my, Bernie, what a big nose you have. Well, the better to smell with. I can smell food about a mile away. I do eat a lot, so having a great sense of smell is a good adaptation for finding food. Hey, Bernie, look what else I have here. I have some bear scat or poop. If you take a good look, you can see bits of berries in it. I guess you really do like berries. Ew. Marsha, really, showing everyone my poop? You know, scientists studied scat and poop to make sure animals are healthy. Uh, hey, now that I didn't know. I guess that's important, but there are a lot more things about bears like me face every day. Sometimes we find ourselves in dangerous situations. What do you mean, Bernie? You are a bear, and bears are big and strong. What kind of dangers? Well, just think. I need lots of food. And if I can't find enough food in one habitat, I have to move to another. That means that sometimes I have to cross roads. I try to be as fast as I can, but cars and trucks go so much faster than me. And my dark fur makes it hard for them to see me, especially at nighttime. And some of my bear friends have been hit and struck by cars. And my super sense of smell also gets me in all types of trouble. That's crazy, Bernie. How can your sense of smell get you into trouble? Remember, I can smell up to a mile away. I can smell those yummy, stinky food bits and garbage cans that people put out on the street. I can smell bird seed and feeders, and I can smell pet food left out on a porch. So if I'm really hungry, I know I can follow my nose and get into people's garbage cans, pull down bird feeders, and rip open screens to get into the porch for that delicious pet food. I think I see where you're going with this. <laughs> yep, people get very angry at me for dumping over their garbage cans, eating their bird seed, and tearing up their yards just to get to the pet food. That puts people in danger and me in danger. 
That's also when the wildlife officer has to come and trap me and haul me away. I'm so sorry to hear that. Maybe people watching this will figure out ways to keep all of us safe. They could be careful when driving through bear habitat. They could keep garbage in a secure place until it's time to pick it up. And I bet people could take in feeders at night and not put pet food outside. Hey, those are all great ideas, Marsha. That would help keep us all safer. That was fabulous, Bernie, but I think we need to say goodbye for now. Did we forget anything? We did forget one very important thing. Everyone's invited to visit us at Trout Lake Nature Center or watch more of our nature videos on social media. So, hope to see you soon and bye for now. Bye.